I always tell people being a parent is the hardest, best decision that I've ever made in my life. Do you want some help with your puzzle again? Um, um, they're wonderful to be around. It's great to see them grow. And, and, One. How about him? and the love that they give you is just in incredible. You know, at the, the most unexpected times, and they'll come over and give you a hug and say, I love you, or um, they'll see Irwin's not feeling what well in a particular band they'll come over and rub his head and lay down next to him. It's I, I can't imagine my life without them. Like you guys. Yeah, we're gonna dress up still. And then Mary, I'm getting dressed up like Mary too. Oh you get dressed up like you're married too? Yep. And you What are you gonna carry, you out? I'm gonna carry the wings. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being super nervous and 10 being super relaxed, I'd probably give you a 9 and a quarter. I'd probably say a 7 and a half. It's their nature, like, to be very caring and, like, very giving to everyone. Everyone who comes in, like, their house, it, they're treated not just like a guest, but like a part of their family. The people that are actually getting married and have to follow yeah. them, actually have to go with the ring bears. <laughs> and that's their petals. <laughs> he just wanted everybody to share you know, everything and just to make it the best moment for Irwin. Forever. <laughs> Itumu is our thing. It's E, Ed and Irwin, which is E squared, and L-U is Lobo Urbaniac. This is yours, that's mine. I wonder why it's so small. He is a lot of fun to be around. Um, when we have a party, he is definitely the extrovert in the life of the party. Um, I'm the one that slips away at about midnight or so and, and lets the party continue on with Irwin um, leading the charge. He kept on like telling me that he always having a back problem, like back pain. Which I kept on telling him like to go and see a doctor and like to have it checked. Daddy just needs to cough this like this. And then the time that like he told me I didn't know how to react. You're so handsome. Hey. Who's this handsome little boy? Stand up, skin. Stand up like a soldier. Very good. Um, sad, sad isn't the word. Distraught, um, upset. Um, that someday he's not going to be here. I know we're all not going to be here someday. When you're faced with that being quicker than later, you know. I'm the older one. I'm supposed to die first, not him, <laughs> you know? <laughs> he, throughout this entire crisis of his health, he has been so together and lost hardly any work and still makes dinner for the, the kids. And, but he is just so strong and together through, throughout this. Um, it, it amazes me. I, I have no idea how he does it. me realize how valuable life is and at the same time I felt very very lucky. God had given me more time to mend fences, to rebuild bridges and at the same time make my, make my relationship with my family even better. 
We are gathered in the sight of God to celebrate the legal marriage of Irwin and Ed and to confirm what is already evident. This was a day with everything that they have gone through together that I don't think that they thought this day was going to happen. And the fact that it has, and seeing the two of them standing up there together, uh, it, it's just, it's amazing to me. They already have a very strong relationship, but I think this signifies to the world and how strong that commitment is. We just wanted to thank every all the all the wish granters from Wish Upon a Wedding. It's been just a beautiful day that has far surpassed our greatest expectations. Thank you all so much. These people are strangers. They do, they barely know us, and yet they came together to make a difference in not only in our lives and hopefully to other people's lives. And uh, they open up their hearts. That's another form of love that uh, you know you don't experience every day. If you look around. And if you look at the people who are here, and even those who are not here, who would love to have been part of this, yeah, everybody just loves him. Yeah, uh, and I'm on the top of the list. For more than 10 years, I've held this promise to myself and to you. Today, I share it legally with the world before God and those gathered here. I, Ed, take you, Irwin, to be my husband. Well, I get to witness, of course, my best friend's wedding, so to say and um, I am so proud to be part of it. It's really that important to me that I have to be here with him on this very, very, very special occasion. Today I join my life to yours. From this day, I will be your partner and companion. For you are my dearest love and my best friend. Just like being part of their family that like I wanted just to be here. It's like to be part of it. I'm so happy for them, you know? It's like it's a big day for them. It's like I, this is something I wouldn't want to miss for the world. It's... it's exactly what I was hoping for. A beautiful day for Irwin that he can enjoy and show off and be himself and be the life of the party and not be sick for a day. On your behalf and on behalf of the entire community and before God, I declare you to be legally married. You may kiss. I keep on telling him, I said, I don't know if I be able to pay you back to what you've done to me. You are God sent to me.